Now, at this point, I was wearing the same thing as David and had to play through the actor's sleeves. They're my hands. I haven't seen that in 20 years. Oh, this is giving me flashbacks. So right now, when this was being filmed, I was sitting in a caravan for 14 hours, wondering what was gonna happen. I'd just been taken out of year eight, probably maths class, to play the hand double in a very small budget Australian film. This young kid, his name's Alex Rafalowicz. He had no idea how to play the piano. You'll soon see that. Now, at this point, I was wearing the same thing as David and had to play through the actor's sleeves. They're my hands. They actually look quite similar. I had to play through his sleeves, sitting behind him. The only problem is the actor, Alex, didn't know that when the music is low, you go left, and when the music's high, you go right. And Chopin is very, very athletic. So you better believe my core strength was improved after that two days because I had to counter his weight. As well as that, the piano was being pulled back at the same time. Uh, it was monstrously difficult and exhausting. There were no special effects at all. And I was asked as well to stuff up as well, which is not easy to do when you've trained to never stuff up. seen that in 20 years. Bravo, bravo, encore. <laughs> oh, so good to us, Liberace. <laughs> Ironically, the only pianist I've seen with a cigarette in his mouth like that is uh, Bill Evans, a jazz pianist. I'd be nervous that the cigarette would, the butt would fall on my nether regions when trying to play Flight of the Bumblebee. As I understand it, this is actually David Helfcott playing Flight of the Bumblebee. I tell you what, for an old pub piano, that sounds pretty damn good. I, I truly wish pub and club pianos maintain their, their instruments to that degree. Uh, still, with a piece like that, which is so much about the small motor movements, to be able to turn around, like that and look at people, uh, not only would be impractical and unwise, but impossible. It's an incredibly beautiful film. And uh, it's one of those cases where minimalist music really seems to be appropriate. I, perhaps, I myself am not really a fan of minimalist music, but I think this is a time when it might be fitting. However, getting a piano on a beach is difficult because I know salt water is terrible for pianos. It goes out of tune almost immediately. Yeah, I've, I've played on ships, trust me, and even when the, the piano is very safely insulated down below ground in a very fancy theatre, salt water will destroy the piano. It has to be tuned really every day. However, when it's an old upright on a beach in New Zealand, very curious that it's in perfect 440 pitch. So there you go, the world of movies. Yeah, there's always one in my audience too. She's asleep, look. Okay, well, this is not as ridiculous as it looks. When I was a kid, there was a family gathering at my place. I was at that time already um, performing and playing all the time. And I walked out in my pajamas to the family gathering because I was exhausted from practicing. I was asleep and I said, I'm just trying to work on this arpeggio to the family gathering. And then I walked back into my room and 
promptly went back to sleep again. And to this day, my brother still teases me about, I'm just working on this arpeggio. And I have had little micro sleeps during my performances and you just keep going. However, I will say that uh, this, this character is taking it to the nth degree. You've actually had micro sleeps? Oh yeah, heaps, heaps. I think most pianists would have at some point. I mean, when you're doing the same like performance like 300 times or something, you, you have little micro sleeps. I have. Grand piano. Wow, what is this? Rachmaninoff or Michael Nyman? It's like bad Rachmaninoff. Yeah, that's actually happened to me before. A piano, my phone has fallen out of my pocket. My understanding of the premise of this film is that if he plays one wrong note, he'll be shot. Look, originally I have to be honest, I didn't want to see this film because it was a little bit too close to the bone in terms of, uh, you know, play a wrong note or you're dead type of thing. And I just thought, oh, it's not really that good for my psyche. But now having been, um, having been uh, force fed it by ABC, I can actually see it's more ridiculous than anything I could possibly have imagined in my wildest dreams. This sounds like the type of classical music that people think classical music is if they haven't heard classical music. Or if a Martian is like, I am going to compose some classical music by, by earthlings. See, there was a bit of Bach in there. He thought, I'll solve a Jetto, CPE Bach, but... Oh, now back to Rachmaninoff. They're really trying everything. It's the scattergun approach of, of uh, composing. Okay, well, you can tell from his top body, he's not actually playing that. You can just tell from the overall musculature of his body, he is not playing that right now. Look at the person who's playing. If there's a stiffness going on, I can't play like this. If the hands are like this, or they're like this, or they're like this, something wrong. It should be like this, and the whole body should be involved. So if I'm doing something, I'll move to the right, or... Also, I'd advise, just uh, as an OHS issue, or at least a public safety issue, if you're gonna play this, don't do this. Look, I can do it. 